Hi, I'm Kelly with Blue Water Photo, and today I'm going to walk you through installing your Nauticam viewfinder ring for your Icolite housing. This tool is a very nice little piece. It allows you to use the Nauticam external viewfinders on an Icolite housing, which can improve the magnification that you see when looking through the viewfinder. Very useful if you have poor eyesight or if you're trying to shoot macro shots and are having trouble locking that focus right where you need it to be on your tiny little subject because of how small it is looking through the viewfinder with your mask underwater. It can be very difficult. Uh, Nauticam's viewfinders are great. They provide about three times the magnification you're going to see just looking through your standard viewfinder. With this tool, you can use it on your Icolite housing. It's not difficult to install once you kind of go through the steps. The first step is going to be removing your standard viewfinder ring from Icolite. This can be kind of difficult. Um, they are in, uh, installed extremely tight to create a really good seal, which means that initial push to get it unscrewed is kind of hard and you want to make sure you have proper leverage. In order to remove this piece, you won't be able to unscrew it by hand. You're going to need a tool or bar that is very thin, can fit between the two slots that you see on the housing, and it'll give you the leverage. Obviously, there's also all these little different controls that can get in the way, so you just want to be very careful. The area around this is plastic. You can chip it or break it, which will make it more difficult to remove. For me, I found pretty good success using a standard kitchen knife. The edge of this knife, not the serrated edge, but the, the back edge is pretty thin. I was able to slide it into my viewfinder ring so that I could turn. Obviously, buttons and dials can get in the way, so just be very careful, be very patient, and uh, do it slowly. I've already loosened it for this housing. Once you get that initial loosen um, done, you can use the tool that comes with your mounting ring from Nauticam. Carefully put the two pins in on either side, and then that will help you turn it the rest of the way to get it undone. It doesn't work well for that initial first loosening because it's so tight. I found since they're just pins, they slide out and then you end up damaging either your housing or the acrylic around the viewfinder casing. So just do it very carefully. That's the main point. Take this guy out, just unscrews the rest of the way so that you have the hole for the viewfinder on your housing. The ceiling surface is this little recessed flat surface, so you're going to want to make sure that is clean, doesn't have any hairs, sand, grit, nothing, so you can clean that off with a soft cloth to visually inspect it. Next we're going to install the viewfinder mounting ring. This ring comes assembled like this. It's got three parts, so you'll unscrew this outer ring, and then there's a little inner ring. This is what's going to keep your viewfinder in place, <clears throat> and then there's the actual mounting shaft. So this piece has a large black o-ring on the back, that's your sealing o-ring for this piece. Make sure that it's lubricated and also clean and free of any debris. And then you're simply going to screw this guy right into the housing. Once it's screwed as far as you can do with your hands, grab the tool from Nauticam. You're going to use the inner two pins, align them up with two of the holes on this ring, and then screw it in place. You want to get it as tight as you can get it so that it creates a really good seal and goes as far into the housing as we need. Once that's as tight as you can get it, you're good. Next, you're going to determine which position your viewfinder is going to sit in or if your viewfinder is compatible. One note, not every Icolite housing is going to be compatible with the Nauticam viewfinders. Some will be compatible with both the 180 degree and the 45 degree. Some will only be compatible with the 45 degree. Some may not be compatible at all. So please, before purchasing, send us an email with a picture of the back of your housing or the model number so that we can try and look up a picture and we can let you know if it will be compatible. We're trying to assemble a full list to make this easy. There's just so many DSLR housings from Icolite that it is hard to know exactly which ones are going to work without looking at them. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the 45 degree viewfinder. I have the 5D Mark III housing from Icolite in front of me. I can tell you that it is not compatible with the 180. If you look, it typically assembles this way as I put it in. It already interferes with this button here. If I try and put it in upside down, which can also work, it's going to interfere with this button. So for some housings that have these two buttons next to each other, you're not going to be able to use the 180 degree viewfinder. But the 45 degree viewfinder works fine. Slides in, pushes down, there's no issues getting it next to any of the viewfinders. So in order to assemble it, you want to take note 
of the two pins on this viewfinder. Typically they are horizontal. Um, it does, the 45 does rotate on 360 degrees, so if they're not horizontal, that is fine. You're going to take the inner ring, and there's a little black O-ring, just leave that seated there, it just cushions this ring. Put that inner ring there, take the outer ring, and you're going to tighten this down. To start, I usually have the two small holes on the inner ring horizontal. I find that when I am assembling this outer ring, as I tighten it down, those inner rings tend to turn. It's not a problem with the 45 degree viewfinder. It could cause an issue with the 180. So if that's the case, you just have to be very careful as you assemble it to keep those inner ring lined up how you need it. Take the tool, you want the outside bigger diameter pins. It's going to go right in there and you're going to tighten this one down. Also tightening it down as absolutely hard as you can. There's no sealing surfaces on these pieces. The sealing surface was from that first shaft, so we're not worried about that. But if you don't get it tightened down, this ring is going to sit up too much and it won't allow you to attach the retaining ring on the inside of the viewfinder. So you can see my two holes shifted a little bit here. They're now a little 45 degree angle instead of flat horizontal. That's okay. I'm going to take my 45 degree viewfinder, look at my two pins, line them up with those two inner holes, not the outer holes, so that it sits and is good and then I can turn it so that it's back to exactly how I want it to be. The viewfinder is now installed. One quick note before putting it in, this is the sealing surface, these two o-rings for your viewfinder. It's going to keep everything watertight. Make sure these o-rings are clean and properly lubricated before assembling it. So put it back in there again. And then you're going to go ahead, open up your Icolite housing, take the back off, and then we're going to put our retaining ring, which is the last piece, on. So what you need to do, is this thin o-ring, it comes around the base of your viewfinder when you get it from Nauticam. Then you're going to take your housing and you're going to make sure that you have it gripped firmly so that the shaft of the viewfinder is pushed as far forward as you can. And you're just going to slide this o-ring into place around the base of the viewfinder. And this o-ring is not a sealing o-ring. All it does is keep that viewfinder held in place just like so. So that keeps you sealed in. Once you're underwater, obviously the pressure is going to be pushing the viewfinder in, so there's really not any risk of it popping out on you. Um, but you do want to make sure that that o-ring is securely in place at all times, just so that it doesn't loosen and come out. Now you're ready to use your viewfinder. 45 to viewfinder can easily be rotated whichever way you need to view it. So if you're doing a horizontal or vertical shot, you can change it, which is really nice. Enjoy the new viewfinder. If you have any questions about if your housing is compatible or any issues while installing, please feel free to contact us through www.bluewaterphotostore.com. Thanks.